found a really good solution for these fan baffle screws. This is a fatter screw that comes with the security bars that I've been getting. And it works just right for a stripped out screw. So just hold in this back and it's much better than, it's just a tiny bit fatter than the original which grabs just right. It's got kind of big threads on it, which definitely helps. Grab that nice and strong. There it is. Perfect solution for these fan baffles. When you get stripped screws, it just happens with these. You know, these are Janitrols, which is a great unit. So I'm in no hurry to change those out they're, they're good units but uh don't want that fan baffle coming off and catching us in the summer so for these security bars i'm often having to replace this piece in fact here's a broken one as people don't often understand the secondary lock portion but anyway it comes with this larger screw and i often don't use that screw for anything so it's perfect for these air conditioner deals you know, long story short is you just need a bigger screw for the fan baffle, but this should work out perfect for a lot of these for me. As so here's another one, and again I often just wind up using this piece, sometimes this piece, but it's this secondary lock that a lot of people don't understand. In fact, when I install these and prep them, I just don't insert that secondary lock. I'll just leave it hanging down like this because the problem is a lot of people don't understand the way this works. It's a secondary pin to keep anyone from lifting the security bar. So I'll leave it hanging, but sometimes people have guests and somebody else comes along and just, how do you get this thing apart? And they break it apart. So always kind of have to replace those. So I buy lots of extras of these kits. Here's the part number for the kit. It's 8756700. Good thing is it's got that big screw. It's the there, HD so supply part number. I have a bunch of these larger screws on my couch. As I'm doing my preventative maintenance for the AC, any of these that are stripped out, I can get that bigger screw. And I'm going to fix that. If I can find it easy enough, AC's I'll going. put a link in the description just... below for those two. Alright, there's a bunch of them. So ready to get things going. Okay, nice day for preventative maintenance. Doing fan deals. You want to pull the disconnect, discharge the capacitor before touching any wiring there. Alright, what I've got here is a bunch of them that just spin. And it's stripped out. That one's okay. But just with the fingers, you know, when they get that. Time to change them out. We're just going to do them one at a time. What I want to do is kind of support it up. Taking my pen here. Just supporting it. And then start it in here. You'll definitely want to pull the disconnect first. So a lot of times I'll hear this even in other people's videos or I've had it where I heard it from the ground and what happens is that plastic fan baffle, if this screw comes loose and hangs down and then the fan blade hits it. It's got a nice grab to it. And it can shatter, no more strip screw. shatter the fan blade and then you'll get a no cool call. And that's what we're out to prevent by doing this preventative maintenance. Same deal. Keep things going good. A lot easier now than in the summer. This is late January. so. Glad to get ahead of these, or try to. Also, by doing them one at a time, we don't have to take the whole lid off. It's a little bit easier. You can take the lid off if you need to, but it's nice if you don't have to. So that's why I'm doing them one at a time. Like that. Yeah. No more strip screw. And you want to do these one at a time so that the fan baffle doesn't fall inside. And it's not a bad idea to kind of support it too so that you don't put strain on the rest of it. Mm -hmm. 
started, so it holds. Got one left, and that one well, wasn't too bad, but might as well make them all new since we're going here. Nice and new, nice and strong. Now at least that fan baffle's not going to fall off in the summer. Cause us a no cool call or break our fan blades. It's good to go. Wouldn't be a bad idea to put some electrical tape on this fan, these fan deals, or tie them up underneath is even better. But if they're up here, might as well make it a little better. With the fan baffle screw completely missing. This is the kind of stuff we're here to fix. Let's see if I can pick this up. And you know, the last thing we want in the summer is these fan blades to hit. And guards and the newer Goodmans are nice that they don't have that fan baffle. It's engineered as part of the lid. Just one last thing to break. Baffle fell inside. Mess us up. 